It's fine to have a bad game. But there's just so many circumstances that fucks it up before the game. No, I don't want to have any fucking regrets when I'm done here. If I'm not qualifying to the major, it's not because we're changing a fucking mouse. I swear to God. Okay, guys. Turn on. Turn the way. Turn the way. Turn around. Today, as I said, it, it, it's your time. Uh, it's special. I mean, it's special compared to where we come from because it's special for me. Eh? With with those characteristics that is related to that. One chance. We got to be there. You got to be there. Um, from the start and ready. And when I said ready, it's not only ready. It's also being present. There's a lot of uncertainty related to that. And the only way to cope with that uncertainty is to, 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 to believe in our plan, believe in our preparations, and, and what we got, okay? that's enough. I can relate to this. You, you're sitting in a helicopter, you're going in, and you just have one chance. That's it. Either you fail or you succeed. It's a short, ah, in and on. That's exactly. So we've got, and that calls for one, being ready, as I'm saying. Fucking being ready with everything. If one of you is not present, it's, it's going to be difficult. So you've fucking got to be there. You've got to be there for each other. We need to have the good mindset, be the best version of ourselves. We just need to play fearless because at the end of the day, the most important is that we qualify and we don't care what scoreline it is. It doesn't matter if it's 3 0 or 3 2. I really don't care. It's about qualifying. This is why I am a coach and why I think all CS players are playing the game. You start out as a hobby and then you create this dream of attending majors, uh, playing in them. It's the biggest stage, the biggest achievement you can get in the game. Still after winning that many majors, it's still the most important time of, of the year. It is those two months where we have majors. But it also means a lot because you play for the honor at the major. It's uh, open for everyone. This is where you want to do good. Four or five semifinals of Katowice, I would change for uh, one uh, qualification for major. I just, it's very important and it was our priority. My goal has always and will never be less than qualifying for the major. So obviously that was the, the goal for the team, that was to qualify for the major. Given the fact that we did, did well in Katowice and, and that Falcons are here to, to take over, I would say, it is always a, uh, an ambition to qualify for, for, for the major. I really want us to go in and play with courage and do the things that we did in Katowice. Again, we don't have to do anything differently. I know it's a, it's a, it's a challenging environment going into an, uh, an Amar. We're going up with the, with with the mindset that we're we're gonna we're gonna take this one. Right? Let's have the focus going in now. It's one game at a time. But then also the last thing I want to say is yes. it is fine to be nervous. It's fine to feel the pressure. Come through this as a team and just believe that we are much better. I really want to just stress this the last time here. It is the same teams we just beat one week ago. We knew we had the. Uh... Our feet in the ground, right? Like because we we are we had I don't know well, two weeks in total of practice. So it depends a lot on our individuals. Is is qualifier and is best of ones. There was definitely pressure. I think there's pressure for everyone. Um, it was expected that we went through. There is a lot of pressure on the Alma because of the consequences if if if, if you don't succeed. I think it's quite normal. Um, we all have individual goals, and I think. For me, it's obviously an individual goal to, to be able to play a major in Denmark. Being able to, to play uh, the major is obviously, for me as a player, um, I think as an individual I know what I'm worth, I know what I'm capable of, and I know in that I can play in majors and I deserve to play at majors. But I just think the added pressure on every single player, knowing how important these tournaments are for stakers in the game, if you haven't tried that before, all of these small things, it, it adds up and it just creates extra pressure, extra excitement, extra everything for the players. This is really where you want to perform. Now it's, a, it's about time for zoning in, eh? Yeah. In a few minutes, we'll be there. Anything that you're upset? Let's give 100%.
Yeah, I fucking believe in all of you. So let's be there for each other. Uh, Freddy Max, you are higher seed. Would you like to be team A or team B? The distance. Falcons, plus two bands. We will ban Inferno. Ban Inferno. And Anubis. And Anubis. We have left. We have Nuke and Overpass left. Okay. Let's play Nuke. Ban Overpass? Yes. Good luck. Good luck. Have fun. You too. Nothing more special, ready? Let's yes. fight together. Ready? Okay. Let's go. Yes. I want to hear you scream more. Come on. Yeah, you're a piece of shit. Ah. One, two, three! Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Don't do it for him, man! Stop! Max. I've got the Falcon's number. I've got the Falcon's number. I just would need a number of frags if he wanted to win this clutch 1v3. Well, how do you still have to be around? Mac no, missed the shot. Down. Nice shot from Magis. Cool, he's piecing it together. Watch out for this boy. He's looking dangerous. What a hell of a clutch ahead of us. Oh, oh nice! Find the smoke and clear out Jocko. Isolate the dual clean headshot. Turns his back. Not a tip. Oh, oh, that's stunning from Boros. Oh, they're going straight towards Mad, and this is going to be a disaster. They're not ready. Oh, no. 3D Max's hopes and dreams thrown away. Silence bullet did get fired off and Matt just gets repositioned. So Pfizer's got a dead to rise. Where, where? Nice! 80 49, bro. Woo! Woo! 80 49, bro. How? But, 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 we don't know. Uh, I'm waiting for Take out the gear and then uh, let's meet outside. Oh, I kept you. And then we'll discuss. I think we, we, there are two things we have after each each match. We have what we call a capture that is uh, going on right after the match or before we leave the venue. There are no analyzers uh, taking place. There are, there are no discussions taking place. It's just for every team member to come forward with reflections um, or, or first uh, impressions on the performance because that turns into valuable data later on. The next morning, we always start out with, with just thoughts from yesterday. I mean, what has come to your mind uh, during the night, or with reference to, to, to the game that we had last night? Talking about, we had that with what we call empty the backpack. Could be a team talk, there's a light version of empty the backpack, empty the backpacks where we go a little bit deeper, if there's something that sticks. Bringing all the voices, and, uh, and, and that's just natural. I mean, all roles are, all experiences yeah. are, are fine. It is, yeah. New setting, new focus, different games. A good, uh, we made a good uh, offset for ourselves. So, I think what's now the focus? Guys, we are 1 0, and we're playing against FaZe. Right now, they are the ones under the biggest pressure. Yeah. Go in, enjoy the fact that we don't have any pressure. This is the best of one. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Yeah. So, let's give 100% so, good energy, good comps, yeah. and yeah. as a good team, let's be honest. Yeah. But it's lucky we played him in best of one. Yes. Mm. That is the best thing we could oh, have yes. right now. Uh, uh, ends. Known for an upper rush or two anders. You and I have commentated plenty of them. This time, though, it's an absolute massacre. No success found whatsoever. Coming mean, through. Oh, it's chaos on the bomb side. He needs the first strong kill, and he's going to get it. But now they're on top. He's sweeping oh. up another headshot. It's Vesk. Triple. He's absolutely wrecked them. First kill is his. Oh my God! It's down to one versus one. I dare say, Brokey has the advantage as well. They steal the round away. He can make this one work. It's an overlooked position at times. Oh, Boros. He needed one there. To get the bomb yeah. planted, gets the headshot as well. And some pious, he knew that he was down below. Carrigan setting up a flash, and he might go straight for it here. Just tucked into the corner. Some pious on the other side. He wants to fight. Oh! The oh! Okay, guys, meet outside when you're ready. So hard. Yeah. Frustration. Uh, very, very much frustration after the first day. Um, there were some things that uh, wasn't good in terms of uh, professionalism. Um, just default things where you can't fuck up. I think we should have been 2 0, but uh, we weren't, so. Very much frustration. I can accept being outplayed, but the first day was pure frustration. 
because of the way and how we lost. If you want to be the best team in the world or one of the best teams in the world, every single player needs to be professional. They need to do things outside and inside the server. They need to be also smart. They need to remember strats, tactics. They need to also play good individually. And all these small details, like not be late on practice and stuff. But yeah, like if you want to be professional, you need, you need to do all these kind of things. And it's uh, not easy as everyone thinks, I would say. And uh, how was that? Good. Hey. Listen, obviously I felt that we could have won that game, to be fair. Uh, but a lot of circumstances uh, did what we didn't. And normally I'm not focusing on individual performance because we can all have a shit game. But I also think a lot of it started before the game. And I have to point my finger at you. Changing mouse when you had a tournament where you played really well it's a risky move, in my opinion. I don't know if it's the same mouse or if it's a new mouse. Forgetting your Ineos, you're, uh, for me, you're totally gone, Mo. And you're sitting on fucking NVIDIA and changing in the middle of the game. It's fine to have a bad game. But there's just so many circumstances that fucks it up before the game. And the reason I'm getting angry is because I know you're fucking better than that. And you showed such improvement, but we fucking need you. And I don't want all this disturbance. If we're losing, we're losing to a better opponent. I don't know uh, when to take it up because we also have an important tournament, but I feel it's fucking necessary. Oh we God. need to fucking show up and be there. I think there's too many disturbances and it just doesn't make sense. This is the armor. We need to be 100% committed. I mean, I think we're all tired, but oh, I leave it alone. I put it on the table and I say, fuck no, I don't want to have any fucking regrets when I'm done here. No, and when that is said, I think we can be proud of ourselves today. My goal was to not go show to and I was also said face is a good team, so it's better we beat, uh, not beat them, we uh, play them in the best of one, because they are a good team right now. Yeah. And at the end of the day, we are still 1-1, and we cannot play them in an elimination match or anything like this now, so that's a good thing. And I think we have shown some good things today, and we need to stick with that, and we need to continue with that, and then we will have the best version of Mo tomorrow, and everyone else, of course. It's not only Mo, we also need to be the best version of us to get them all. Do you understand my frustration? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. Me too, I'm so sad to myself. Like, I lost to the game, of course. I lost to myself. Lost no, you no, didn't. I lost to the game. That we, lose we lose it all, mm. and we also win it all. Yeah. Just, but, but I'm, because I'm saying it, because we fucking need, we need you. What? We what? fucking loved you in Karavitsa Mo. I swear to God, we, you were the reason we won two fucking best of threes in a row in Karavitsa. <laughs> and we need that back. <laughs> this is... this career defined hey, what we are going into. It has a consequence on, on everybody. So that, I mean, you got to be there. We'll talk about that when we get home. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Advice. We're still 1-1. We are 1-1. We are 1-1. We need to keep fighting. <laughs> no, but I, I don't care. We also <laughs> need to be <laughs> Exactly. And it goes yes. for... Exactly. I didn't have the good start this turn because uh, was playing with different mouse and this like make the mood different because I didn't shoot good first day and it created like bad energy in the team and uh, yeah of course a different feeling even because it's the middle course it's not a good idea to change like when you when I played good in Katowice like I played normal just before one day changing the mouse it's a big risk yeah I am I regret I think everyone needs to be 100%. They need to have uh, control of their lives. Um, they need to be in the best version they can be. Of course, everyone can have bad periods and everyone can have periods where something is, is going wrong in personal life. There needs to be space for that, of course. Um, but there is a difference in the way you do it and there is a difference in the way you react to it. And of course, the minimum is to be a professional, being on time, remembering your stuff and, and always being sure that you are um, the best version you can be in this given moment and that is what I expect from people and if I know people are doing their best to to be the best version of themselves then I will also be more likely to say it's all good we got you we will support you and we will help you um, and then of course it, it is just about how people react to that I mean we, we talked about it it was addressed and it was also uh, I would say fixed uh, on the second day Um, to eat now, eh? Yes, I can eat some nuts, some bars. You can sniff I can some. I eat everything, guys. I'm hungry. <laughs> Why? Ah, good, Marco. Thank you. Thank you.
Water. A ball, water. Water. With the electrolytes, uh, it's about having the the tension in the um, in, in the in the in the cells uh, in, in the body at the right level, because if you drink water and you, you drink a, a lot of oil during a, a best of three, um, then you could wash out the salts in, in, in the body, and and these electrolytes helps binding the salts and again to have the optimal fundament uh, for performance, and that's that your body and your mind is 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 in as good a shape as possible. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Don't approach me and Danny for one sec, we need to write something. Pavle! Give me one! I think we do, uh, you know, a lot of activities outside. Uh, we make a lot of things mandatory. Um, we do team walks, uh, we do stuff outside the game, we try to involve, involve all players. I think that has by far been one of my biggest traits, I think, as a coach. It is to try and create this unity. But again, it is also something that the players have to have to buy into and they need to participate in that. It, it's really important for me that the players outside of the game also has a good relationship and not just on There's the a good energy. Yeah. Right, but now also also time to focus, eh? Focus yeah. uh, the the energy, the good energy that is here in the right direction. Mm. Okay, that's it. Because that, but that's a that's a good tradition. So, what now? I'm sorry, but it, it is only about ourselves. Mm. That's what's okay. Focus on ourselves. Focus on good energy, being a good teammate, and being there for each other. Yeah. Then always having the mindset that we fight for every single round. And I want us to be more connected. You know, I want us to do these things. To communicate, guys. I'm gonna push you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you're right. Oh, I have this or Pepsi this. One constant update, constant talk. In this game before Eternal Fire, um, we have just met them the week before, and it was a very difficult veto process. Also because we we knew they were they showed really good signs on on all pass against the NIP, and and that has been a map that was a bit rough for us. They beat us last time on Vertigo and picked that map, if I remember correctly, in Katowice. And then there was nuke left, and we lost that. Uh, also in, in Katowice, so. so we had to, to try and take that revenge. It's a bit thick, shut down by Boros. Oh, Boros good for two. Fine, no one can see a damn thing, but Zantaras again is shifting through the frags. Three quick fire catch on the T side, he'll be a real threat, a real nuisance, and so far, Kalix is also having tons of impact. No need to fight into it, runs around the corner, he might get the frag, but the round itself is gone. So he has to fight off against, and on top of that, as if that wasn't bad enough, there's a bomb as well, but eternal fire. Shut it down, 13-5. We didn't have enough response to, to, to try and do it. And we, we simply, in practice, given the little practice that we have had, we have simply not been able to, to be ready uh, to have a deep enough playbook. Yeah, unfortunately, we fell short again. We faced a very good Eternal Fire team that uh, were better than us. And uh, if you lose to a better team, then you lose to a better team. and. Uh, on the second day when we lost to Eternal Fire, they were just a bit. Do we trust that we can overcome that shit? Of course, yes. Yeah. Of course yeah. we do. We do need the belief that we can do this. Yes. Back against the wall. And that's just a fact. And we cannot, we cannot influence that. We never give up. We have the ability to bounce back. That's in our DNA. I like to play under pressure. I like to be on the edge. I think we'll make it. I do believe it. It's about how we react now. And the only reason, and the only thing I can see is that we need to fight for everything. We need to fight for our lives. The only way we lose today is to ourselves. Mm -hmm. And there, if, if there's something I'm not going to lose to, it's myself. No time to be tilted. No time to be annoyed. We fucking fight and we fucking give everything. It was a totally different kind of pressure we were uh, facing in, at the Arma, uh, and I think when when all CS players and, and coaches who have who have attended a, an Arma before is watching this this documentary, they know the the amount of pressure that you have, especially if you are a team that is set there to to attend majors and win majors. Um, it is. No matter how much, how much experience I have, I will always be uh, extremely nervous going into these. It's even more nerve-wracking than going into the major itself, uh, because then you made it. At the AMR, it's 
is that fear of getting shot out and having to spectate an entire major from the sidelines. Uh, against Amkel, I think we had a pretty good game plan. Um, I also felt the boys a lot more um, against Amkel than did in any of the other games. We felt really good, uh, despite the pressure of, of being 1-2 and, and having to win that game. And we also started out really well. Smoke up and over, gonna try and draw away the attention of Travis, who pops up oh. and Mage just puts him down. A solid 1v2 clutch at the very beginning of this best of three. Almost looking to get planted down a slight gap in that smoke, and Sun Pius makes the most of it, but the plant has come through. Sun Pius is controlling the retake single handedly, but he's got back up. Majisk has already won a single clutch from this position, and he thrusts it into a 1v2 all on Forest. The Sun Pius does it all on his own. Two separate angles here, but the spray should be good, should be on point, and it should be the round. Oh, it could cause issues, especially for Travis. Didn't expect them to walk their way out middle. And for Crad. It's all on him to clutch it, finds the head of a chest. He's baited in the corner, and isn't it fitting? It's Sun Pius with a stolen orb to close it. <laughs> no, I'll be honest, I think we didn't have the best mental. Even the first map, which we won convincingly, there was frustrations, and uh, you could feel the, the people weren't like... Um, I don't think we stood as tight together as a team that uh, we should have. Uh, I tried to address this, address it, uh, between both maps, um, but I felt like there was just this small frustration. Oh. Well played, boys. That was uh, a lot better. So, but we need to, uh, as Marco said, we cannot, we don't have time for these small frustrations. Yeah, and we also don't have time for tilt. There's no, an no. agreement. No fucking tilt. Yeah. Now. All, right. All good. Anyway, now next map. Yes. One, two, three. Nickelback chimes in with two massive frags and looks for a little bit more. The bomb's dropped on the ramps and Pius is scoped in, but he gets swung upon. But Majisk has already found an opportunity to trade. Meanwhile, though, Forrester fires off some red hot shots and bodies both Majisk and Boros. He's still going. Amazingly close to clutching this round. To keeping themselves in with a shot, but Travis is going to neutralize Martin. And I'll make just cast the clutch to 1v2. What else can Snappy do? Second map, we had, had a ton of good situations. Well, I'll be honest, I think uh, individually we were in shock. We really needed that one guy to have an extremely good game. I think it's very tough. Like, I had a lot of these kind of games where I perform really bad, and then after the game I have these feelings, I'm not good for this, I'm a very terrible player, you know, like, it's just these small talks in your in your brain with yourself, and then at the end of the day you need to fix it and think a little bit more positively, but sometimes when you have a rough tournament, it, it's very hard, it's very hard, yeah, in your mind. Um, we just didn't show up when we had to. Poor Snappy though, getting his hands dirty, charges through CT and lays claim to another pickup, but it's quite quickly gotten out of hand and it's all on Boros in a 1v1. Oh. But the HE should be money, so now doesn't kill Snappy, but there's Icy to pick up the pieces. Tournament and that's it done, and I see again, different position, but it's the same outcome. Oh, and a second as well. The utility and AKs are singing. The Majisk has to go huge. He cannot. Falcons, their run towards Copenhagen is about to be ripped away from them. And the prospects of this major, and Boris has been one tap down. The Falcons are eliminated. As a team right now, we were just not good enough. And this is also my fault. And it's not like specifically one guy's fault. It is just the fact that the team has not been performing well enough. And that is the consequence when you don't find the, the level as a team fast enough for an important tournament. You know, every Danish player has dreamed of a major in, in Copenhagen and winning four of those and, and then obviously the first time it's in Denmark, not being able to play there is, is a huge disappointment. It probably is my biggest disappointment in my whole career. It's the first time I've been in a situation like this. It was really important for us. Like we really wanted to qualify for the, for the, for the major. I feel really disappointed. I mean, it was our main focus these first three months. 
and we work it so much, day by day. I was thinking, could I have done more? No, there's no way. I put inside, like, I put a lot of hours. Emptiness. Um, I get these ex explosive uh, thoughts sometimes, you know, when you get that defeat, especially of, of an important tournament. I think I've tried it once, and very rare that I have that. It's just different, this, this feeling. And, and it's by far the worst feeling that I've had as a coach. Um. Yeah. It sucks. It sucks. Um, but uh, guys, that's that's part of it. And you know that it's not the first time you're sitting here with that feeling. But it's, it sucks every time. But as I said, it's just part of it. It's sports. Remember that out there, back then. There are dogs that still love you, eh? Their girlfriends, their families, their children that are much, much more important than this. And again, it's not the last time that we're sitting in this field. Early in the process, I think we talked about it in when we were in, in um, at the Carson. We, 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 we talked about giving everything. And if we ended up in the position that we are right now, we should look back and say there was something else we could have done. Because that hope would have been a fault and a mistake. And I, I think that when we now looking back on what you did in that one and a half month, we couldn't have done anything better. When, when you have that thought in mind, it is a little bit easier to accept, even though it sucks. But remember our dream, right? It's a long-term, it, it is a long-term project. Ah, hit that resistance. But, but at the end, we succeeded. We did that in stars. You did that in ends. We did that in Vitality. We've done that before. It still sucks, I know. But we've got to have that perspective now. And and, and, and we know our, our dream. That's by the end of, of, of 25. And we have to stick to that. And we have to trust that. The focus right now is to, to go home and get some, some rest because everyone on the team has given themselves 100% since we started. There will be a new tournament in two months, and then there will be a new major in six, a new armor probably in six months. Life goes on, and it's about focusing on what you have right now because at the end of the day, I feel sorry for myself for too long. I won't get back on track and improve on what I can improve. It's very tough, but we are also a new team. I still think that uh, in the long run, I think this team can succeed and uh, that we can be really good in, uh, in the future. Maybe. We'll get up from the floor and we will achieve whatever we want in the future. Right now, right here now, it's about accepting the fact that we didn't qualify. But as soon as you can do that, you can start reorientating uh, towards the um, future. But, um, but we have the plan, and that really helps. And that's why we have this plan, and we have the process. Um, and we have been there so many times before, eh? So when we hit resistance, meet resistance, ah! That hurts, but we're on the plan, we're on the process. Uh, the phrase, trust the plan, trust the process. We've got a lot of good tournaments coming up um, where we can um, gain um, experience and, and get even more data in order to make the breakthrough when we are getting closer to the dream or where we should fulfill the dream.